Hello, welcome back. Today you will need some kind of fi fine, not find, fine tip permanent or waterproof marker, and you will need an eraser. Um, we're gonna clean up some of the drawing today. Not all of it, uh, we're not gonna erase all the lines before we draw, but I wanna erase some that might confuse me when I'm drawing. So if you think you might accidentally draw on the wrong line with the black permanent marker, you know, erase that line, get rid of it. Um, but you can also clean up after you've drawn, um, after you've drawn with the black marker because these lines won't erase with that. Whoops, I did the wrong line. That's okay, I can still see it. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this. And there was a, I think that was the most important here. I don't wanna go over that and I don't wanna go over this or this or this. Take your time. We want good craftsmanship, not sloppy, quick work. Take your time, be proud of what you've done. You've worked hard already. You wanna continue that nice hard work so that when you're done, you can be proud of what you've made and show it off. All right, that's all I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the black marker um, and then you can use the ruler again. It might help you when you're doing the lines of the barn, but you don't have to, that's up to you. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. All right, so I'm just gonna start and then I'm gonna stop the video and let you do it yourself. So I'll do a couple things and then we will stop the video. So right now I'm just going over my chicken. Oh, you know what I forgot to do on the chicken? I forgot to put the weather vane. So if you're drawing and you think, oh my goodness, I forgot something important, you can add it in with the black marker. There. Now it's all added in. Okay, so you're gonna do every single line that you wanna keep. You're not gonna do any of the lines you don't wanna keep. All right, have fun, be careful when you're finished. Put the cap back on your marker. Put your pen down and put your hands in your lap and talk quietly to your neighbor. Bye. Hello. Okay, so for this last little bit of line work, we are going to put some debris on the ground. So I don't know if you can see it, but I drew a few little leaves that are falling from the trees. You could also put little clumps of grass like this, a little hill and a little clump of grass in front of the fence and on the barn edges here, around the side of the barn. Okay, we're also gonna add some texture. So we're gonna draw the wood freehand. We're not going to use a ruler because sometimes wood on a barn gets warped and we want it to have that kind of natural look. Right. You can add knot holes. You can add um, nail holes and some texture with your thin marker. You can do this now, and then if you um, want to add more when we're done painting it, you're welcome to do that too. But right now, I'm just adding this texture. Okay, so I want you to do that through the barn. And then the next thing I want you to do is anything that's circular. Um, if you did a windmill, or you have your silo, or the pumpkins, we're going to pick which side the light source is coming from. So let's say the sun is coming from up here. So it's gonna cast light on everything that is on this side, but everything that is on this side is gonna be a little darker, if it, especially if it's circular. So we're gonna do some hatching and cross hatching. These are just short lines that curve with the building because the silo has this curved line. So my, my lines are also curved. 
and the closer you can get them to the edge, the better. And then I'm going to do something called cross hatching, which is a line going another direction. And I want it to be the darkest near the edge of the silo. And the further out you go, the less lines you want. This will make the silo look as if it's curved. Okay. You won't do it to anything flat, but you can do it to the cow face gently. Just put a little bit in here. And since he's inside, you can add more shading to him. You can give him some spots. You could color those in. He could be a Jersey cow. They've got black and white spots on them. And his nose, and we'll color in his nostrils. Um, you can give your cat some stripes if you wish. We'll color in part of the horse too. Or give him some shading. And we'll do it to our pumpkins. Okay, so remember you're doing the texture on the wood you're doing the shading on the pumpkins, anything that's circular, your tree, windmill. All right, so I want you to do that. And when you're finished, please put the cap back on your marker, put your hands in your lap and talk quietly to your neighbor. Take your time, don't rush. Okay, and then the last thing I want you to do is put shadows under your pumpkins. Um, you could put shadow under here. Let's make a little mound here. Make it a little darker underneath. The sun won't hit where the corn stalks are hiding the sun. And you can put a little shadow under the cat this way, headed this way. I didn't shade him. I should shade him. His tongue is sticking out. Okay. Oh, and I forgot this. I got it a little dark there. I didn't want it to be that dark, but okay. All right, so you can see I put texture on my wood and I wanted to say, if your lines aren't straight, don't worry. Sometimes barns need uh, some fixing up. So I'm gonna make a board that's a little bit loose there and maybe another one that's a little loose over here. We'll put some nail holes there and some nail holes here. Another crack in the board. And another one over here. Okay. Take a look at your picture. If you see anything you want to add, now's the time to do it. You can add, uh, let's see, a couple of clumps here and here. You could add some flowers if you want. I don't think I want to, but that's up to you. All right. So once you have finished all of your artwork, your line drawing, and you're, re you're ready to stop, put your cap back on your marker, and um, next week we're going to start doing watercolor. Um, so I'm going to teach you some things about watercolor, and then you're going to start painting your picture. All right, have a good week. Bye-bye.